Hello friends, this is Self-Critical Automaton and it's time for chapter 16 of Bayonetta, which is the final chapter of the game. And therefore perhaps the final boss, one might assume? Uh, so, <laughs> fair warning, this starts with like a, uh, like a 13 minute cutscene, so go get your popcorn. What follows those living in the light is nothing but the profound, empty darkness born from the shadow that grows longer as they approach the brilliant radiance. To truly see, your eyes must be open to both light and dark. Don't you agree, my dear child? I think it's weird to put lipstick on a kid regardless. Little one. You've arrived. My dear, sweet Cereza. My, my. Why the grim face, my dear? As a child, your smile was warmer than the sun. So, you are the last of the Lumen Sages. I am indeed. My name is Balder, but if you so choose, you may address me as Father. There is much you have forgotten. It has been 500 years since we last met. If your memories were still intact, this would have been a much more emotional reconciliation. How did you get the girl? Where shall I begin? We, the Lumen Sages, and your Umbra Witches, have long been the overseers of history, each bearing witness with their own eye. This is how our universes... Existence was preserved. However, for 500 years, you have been exiled from the world's affairs. Oh, is he wearing an entire peacock? He's literally peacocking. You are the left eye of the eyes of the world. Could you dispense with the riddles and just tell me what these sodding eyes actually are? Your years of slumber have caused you to forget many things, even as we stand on the verge of the resurrection of the Creator. The resurrection of Jubileus. There is but one way to return your epic of forgotten memories and open your eye of the overseer. Your uncorrupted eye had to be exposed to the history it could not see. Ah. Your battles, your struggles, everything you've experienced in this town has been a stepping stone for your enlightenment. It has all been done for the left eye. I've had enough of your philosophical pretensions. I won't ask again. Where did you get the girl? <laughs> your question has been answered. All this has been done to awaken the left eye. For that, you had to see yourself once more. He's a politician, the CEO, and the Pope, so it makes sense that he only talks in doublespeak. You are truly beyond salvation, Sage. Ah, salvation. Such a curious word. I mark the path to salvation with light. However, no matter how brilliant that light grows, 
The darkness within the human heart grows even darker. Light, dark, and chaos between. Three realities, once split, shall be brought together to create a new universe in the image of the old. To these ends, leading to the Festival of Resurrection 500 years ago, I fanned the flames of terror, spurring on the witch hunts. However, despite the people's belief in the return of Jubileus, the Creator, the left eye was out of reach. Since then, I have devoted myself to this town's prosperity, and now it is time for my preparations to bear fruit. Jubileus will be resurrected. We will become the eyes of the world, and a new universe will take hold. So this guy had a kid, and then within four years orchestrated the genocide of her people. I could never call the man behind this nightmare father. Luca, how do you keep getting into these places? Free speech, big guy. Luca. Getting a bit ahead of ourselves, aren't we, Mr. Big Shot Ithaval Executive? Salvation, light. You take this entrepreneurial philosophy a bit seriously, don't you? But it's all diarrhea of the mouth, if you ask me. History is littered with famous genocidal figures, just like you. Or, should I say, infamous genocidal figures. You must be Luca, journalist extraordinaire. I must say, I'm truly impressed you've made it this far, child. Like father, like son, I suppose. What? Luca, Luca, Luca. Your father had problems with my philosophies. It's fine to investigate. But when malicious rumors start to spread, I must see to it that they come to a stop. For being kind enough to ascertain that my long lost eraser was at the bottom of some lake. I granted him his final wish, and accepted his permanent resignation. You bastard! You are of no use to me. However, I am not without dignity. I will allow you to die in the same manner as your father. You know, the Pope of Capitalism looks a lot like a distinguished older lesbian of my acquaintance. my plan has gone right out the window. <laughs> oh. Such a shame that sacrifice had to be made. But if destiny is not fulfilled soon, this tragedy will be repeated ad nauseum. Mm. Speaking of tragedy, I suppose you've met John. While she sealed you away, and kept you from trouble, after falling into our hands, she's been incredibly useful. Although her distinct lack of obedience required a bit of mental reprogramming. Her tragic end led you directly to me, just as Blair. The time for awakening the left eye is soon. Fear not, my dear, sweet Cereza. Oh, 
I like the detail that her bullets have incantations on them. Do not fear your fate. Stand tall, my child. Realize your true potential. Sereza, we are one, my child. She spends a lot of time falling, this woman. That's weird. That's weird. I don't like that. I don't think... I don't think a head protruding from a chest ever doesn't look super weird. Mind you, it is in keeping with how the angels are. Uh, so yeah, this is... I thought this was the final boss when I played through this uh, by myself, but it's actually not. Um, but yeah, mostly I just need to focus on dodging, because he has a lot of very fast attacks, but he doesn't do very much damage for the most part. Um, weirdly his AI seems to only be doing the attacks I didn't do on my practice- he didn't do on my practice run. Um, Previously, he mostly just focused on doing those these sweeping sword attacks. Um, he's got this three-hit combo. So the main objective is to just kind of dodge while you fight him. Um, but yeah, like, wow, that was a lot of exposition, huh? It's possible to get witch time off of some of his attacks, but I'm not sure which or... <laughs> I'm not sure which. Uh, or how, like, perfectly accurate you have to be in your timing to manage it. It might only be the third hit in a combo that does it. Um... Oh yeah, he has a space laser as well. So yeah, um, the escalation curve of this game has now reached the point where we are fighting the extremely glam Pope of Capitalism. Uh while falling down the side of a skyscraper um, and dodging space laser energy blasts and it's still only going to go up from there but yeah this first phase isn't difficult um, it's just mainly trying not to take too much damage to screw up your score And that's it. That's this guy dealt with. That was pretty easy, right? Game over for this dude. Avocado's gonna eat him. Something of an anticlimactic end, really, all things considered. Oh, oh no. Avocado, no! So, kind of at this point, it becomes clear that you're finally fighting someone who's genuinely on the same power level as you. Or at least, it's uh, trying to put that impression across. Um, but I actually really like that animation. There's something uncomfortably well observed about the... Uh, wait, it, its neck snaps and it goes limp. It's just kind of... Um, yeah, well observed. That kind of finger gesture is sort of uncomfortable, if you ask me. Um, but yeah. He's gonna yeet a skyscraper at us, and we are gonna... not give two shits. Headbutt a skyscraper at the glam pope of capitalism. By this means is victory achieved. It's not especially difficult to dodge that, um, but it is very amusing to me that the 
tradition of all the boss fights taking place while being on rocks flying through the sky uh, remains true. <laughs> It is possible to actually interrupt his sword combo um, without a great deal of difficulty. The main trouble is doing it in time while also dodging him. As you can see, I'm not very good at it. Anyway, he's definitely dead now, right? I do love the escalation curve of this, of like the threat of opponents in this, because at this point, every time you summon one of these big demons, that's just it. Like, they effortlessly destroy whatever it is you're fighting. Whereas this guy, he just doesn't care. It's genuinely kind of intimidating. I still don't like that head. That's so weird. Oh, fuck off. He looks so much like her, it's uncanny. Down to the haircut and everything. <laughs> Get interrupted, my dude. So, this presumably is confirmation for my theory that the reason why Bayonetta is so disproportionately powerful as compared to the other witches is that she is the offspring of both a Lumen Sage and a witch, instead of just a witch. And a mortal man, presumably. Um, can I hit him with... Nope. I have to question the logic of this uh, decision that he's made here. I'm sure that space lasers both move faster and do more damage than just being hit with a satellite does. Uh, especially when you just yeet it back at him. So it's time for another rally. Play tennis with satellites. That's a uh, completely normal thing to do. Hey, I got him. Fantastic. This should be the end of this phase. There we go. might not be the time to mention it, but the angel and demon scripts that you see throughout the game, those letters, are just a simple substitution cipher for English, which means there's a lot of hidden messages on things. And that's the end of that. Plot ended, game over, problem solved. Luca, how do you keep getting into these situations? You've been through things no mortal man could survive. I've got to give you credit, Bayonetta. You never cease to impress. You haven't seen the half of it. I've seen enough. Well, that about wraps it up, huh? So close to being a solid Douglas Adams quote. Not yet. No need to be afraid, little one. The nightmare is over. Everything was just a dream. 
You're a strong little girl. There is nothing you cannot overcome. Mommy? Did you find it? What you were looking for? Yes. I found it. So don't you worry anymore. You just keep your treasure safe too. Sweet dreams, little one. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, I'm not afraid anymore, Mummy. No matter what. There's nothing I cannot do. Bayonetta! What's happening to you? And now it is done. The right eye oversees the light. The left eye oversees the darkness. Two eyes to oversee the world. It was never the woman known as Bayonetta that I set my sights upon. It was you as a child. Cereza, that I saw. For she was the one who saw the world through innocent eyes. And she was the one who could give rise to a new history. It was her energy that could awaken the left eye. This has all worked out splendidly. <laughs> Let us begin, Cereza. The time is at hand. So at this point, I thought this was the end of the game, and I was wondering if this game had multiple endings and I had somehow screwed up and got the bad end. Now, the resurrection of Jubileus shall be completed. We are the eyes. Overseeing the world. We are the eyes overseeing a new era, a new reality to which we will devote ourselves eternally. So yeah, that's it. That's the end of the game. I got the bad ending. I'm kidding, obviously. Because it turns out a game that has a prologue might also have an epilogue. A fact that astonished me weeks ago when I finished playing this. But yeah, so um, at this point, I had a very, very clear idea of... Um, 
what exactly had been happening in Bayonetta's backstory. You know, who she was and what all this time travel nonsense added up to. I had a narrative in my brain that made perfect sense involving stable time loops, especially considering the fact that she manages to instill in herself a modern song, uh, despite the fact she's from the 1500s. So, yeah, as I will talk about later, possibly during the credits, I'm not sure how I'll handle that, I haven't decided yet, um, my incredibly clear idea and sensible chain of logic about how the plot could work, not actually how the plot works, and uh, according to the director's commentary, what they decided to go with made a lot less sense. Anyway, that is a story for another time, so that's all from me for today. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and there's links to my other projects in the description. Thank you so much for watching.